Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this tutorial is going to show you the basic techniques of orthographic projection. Now what I've already done is drawn the profile. This is the front view that is in the uh, exercise in assignment 1-12. Uh, and from there all I need to do is start drawing projection lines up. Now these can be any length at all good to make sure that you got them long enough that's for sure and you can always extend them or trim them later and you'll notice that I'm using my O snaps it's very important or else the, you're pretty much going to be starting over so now what I need to do is just draw a line and I'll draw it from here and you'll notice oh that's a bit crooked so I'm going to erase it and start over and just draw it straight out. Now I know from my uh, sketch that I need to offset this last line 60 units and there's my other end so I can just uh, use the extend command and get all those extended up. So now I, what I can do is just trim and get rid of these lines and there's my basic top view drawn already. Now then what I can do now is if I come back to this later I'll make those hidden lines as well. So now the trickier part is getting this view over here. Now in the tutorial I show you and this will apply to pretty much every drawing you're gonna do is you have to establish this top right corner otherwise it can be a little off and you always want to keep this nice and consistent and keep the same distance from here as you do to your next view and to do that you just draw a line up at 45 degrees and I'll just use my relative polar coordinates and there's my line and now I'm just going to pan over and now all I have to do is draw this line over and down. Draw this one over and down. So those are my two lines that are going to be the two sides of my drawing. And now I just project out straight across again. Once again, I'm using my quadrant O snap. So now I can trim this up. And I can erase. And there's my three views drawn right there. Now, what I need to do now is check this out and I can dimension it if I need to and what I need to get at here I'm just gonna have to make my drawing a little bigger so now I can get into my home and my properties and my line types and you'll see I've got hidden and center so these are my two hidden lines on this view I just come up and go to hidden and these ones are hidden as well and you'll notice that they're not seen so just let me bring this in uh, the right size again and that's where I use my line type scale so I just type in LTS enter and uh, let's try something like 12 as a value and now you can see okay there they are the hidden lines and now it's just a matter of doing some dimensions oops but you'll notice that I do want to make sure that I am on my dimension layer and make dimensions my current layer. 
So now I can go back to another linear dimension. And what I'm dimensioning, what I want to do is make these the same. So I can just click there so that's the same length there. And then I just press my space bar and just keep repeating this dimension over and over. And just keep going around and go into my linear and into my radius. And I'll use a radial dimension if I'm doing an arc. And I like to use a diameter dimension if I'm dimensioning a circle. And once again, I'll just use my object tracking and just go straight up from there. And from there, I can add some more center lines and everything, but I think you get the point. I just wanted to show the technique for getting the orthographic projection done. And this is a very simple design. And you can do this for anything from a house plan. You can take a floor plan, that, which is your top view, and project it down to do a front and side elevation views. And there's a lot of different ways that this is used. So practice it, get used to it. It's very good for learning drafting techniques. And good luck. This has been MyCADSite.com. Thanks for watching.